Hi, for this video, we're going to be looking at um, a distance, rate, and time word problem. Um, for this one, Danielle left school three hours before Jacob. So this is giving us a time. So it's saying that Danielle is traveling for three hours longer than Jacob did. They drove in opposite directions. So they started at a single point and they went in opposite directions. So it's always important to kind of have a visual of what's going on because if they're going the same direction, um, there's you would set it up differently. So these are going in opposite directions. So we're gonna let this be Danielle and this be Jacob. Okay, um, Jacob drove at 50 miles per hour for one hour. After this time, they were 130 miles apart. So we know that they've traveled um, 130 miles is the distance between the two of them after a set amount of time. So with this, what I'm going to do is, if you recall, distance is always equal to the rate somebody's traveling times the time that they traveled for. So I'm going to set this up because we know that Danielle's distance plus Jacob's distance equals 130 miles. So I'm going to set up a little spreadsheet just to kind of help us keep track of everybody and what's going on. So we have Danielle, we have Jacob. And for some people, this isn't beneficial. For those of you that are more visual, this will help you out more. Um, for some people, they don't need to set up this table. So if this is just extra work that you don't think is going to be helpful for you, you can go directly to setting up the equation. So just remember that what we need to do is we need to find the rate for both Danielle and Jacob, the time for both Danielle and Jacob, and our distance is going to equal the rate times the time. So the total distance that Danielle traveled plus the total distance that Jacob traveled is going to give us 130 miles. So let's find the information to fill in this chart. So Danielle, it tells us um, that's what we're finding. We don't know how fast she's going. So um, that is our unknown. So I'm going to use R for Danielle's speed. Jacob, it tells us that he's traveling at 50 miles per hour, okay? And Jacob drove for one hour, so we know that he drove for a total of one hour. Danielle, this one you have to think about a little bit more because Danielle left school three hours before Jacob, so that means that Danielle's time is three hours more than Jacob's time, so we would do the three plus one which is four hours. So Danielle has been traveling for four hours. Jacob has only been traveling for one hour. So the distance for Danielle is four times her rate. We don't know what her rate is, so we're just gonna leave it as four R. Jacob traveled a total of 50 miles. So now if we put this all together, we can say that Danielle, which is 40 R, so this is Danielle, plus Jacob, which is 50, equals a total distance of 130 miles. So if we solve this problem, we would just subtract 50 from both sides, and we get 40R, sorry, I don't know why I put 40, I just looked at that and went, that does not seem right to me. 4R equals 80, So we end up with a rate of 20 miles per hour. So remember that it's important to answer word problems with a sentence um, so that you know um, who you're talking about. So we can say that Danielle's speed is 20 miles per hour on average. Okay, so Danielle is averaging 20 miles per hour, where Jacob was averaging 50 miles per hour, and they ended up being a total distance of 130 miles apart. And you can always check this to make sure that it makes sense. If I do 80 plus 50, it gives me 130, so that does make sense. Um, as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need help with other um, types of problems, just please let me know.